Speaking of tea. <laughs> mm. Hi, it's Miranda Kerr here, and I'm going to take you through my first five to my last five. Good morning, Nalua. It's 5.30 a.m. My husband just woke me up. Uh, so I've got about 45 minutes to an hour before my three little kids wake up. I use that first time in the morning as a little bit of a ritual of like taking care of myself. So I do a meditation when I first wake up. Being a busy mother, running my own company, it really sets the tone for the rest of the day. It's something that I really rely on for many years because I've, I've been meditating since I was 18 years old. It creates that space to really be present and in the moment. To me, that's what life is all about, like being present, being in the moment digging deeper into ourselves and getting closer to our spirit. It's important that we are like the willow tree. People have this um, idea that maybe an oak tree is like the strongest tree, but in a storm, that rigidness is what causes it to break. And the willow tree in a storm, it bends with the wind, it bends with the rain. It's very flexible. I just remind myself and my team that it's important to be flexible and go with the flow. Since I was a little girl, I've been very connected to nature. So the second thing I like to do in the morning is open my blinds, the windows. Um, I have a little balcony, and so I like to go onto my balcony and just give thanks for the day. I like to put my hands out and get the sunshine in my hands. You can feel the warmth in your hand and just imagining the sun filling up like you, through your whole body, like every cell in your body being filled with light is what I imagine. And feel the energy of the sun kind of uplifting me. Even if it's just a minute or two, it really makes a big difference for setting the day in the, in the positive way. And if it's raining, just having gratitude for that rain. I say to myself, oh wow, like I'm so grateful for that rain. Like it's gonna nourish our plants. And same with the sun, like, Thank you, son, and just being thankful for all of the elements. Third thing is I like to dry body brush. So what I like to do is just, it gets the circulation going and I go upwards with the brush. It just stimulates blood flow, wakes up the body, and um, it's a way to detoxify. And so you kind of go up, 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 and then up towards the heart, around the heart. So I start at my ankles. Work my way all the way up towards my heart. I've been dry body brushing for, oh my God, like since I'm like 21. I dry body brush right before I hop in the shower. It just feels very uplifting to me. The fourth thing that I do is have a shower. And what I love in the shower is that I have my turmeric two-in-one facial scrub. I really love to use it in the shower as a scrub and it contains peppermint, aspen bark and papaya enzymes for um, that exfoliation. It also has the physical exfoliation with the rose hip seeds and the crushed quartz. I love turmeric because it's anti-inflammatory. It's also really great for helping my pigmentation to really help brighten your skin. So now my face feels super fresh after removing the turmeric scrub. And then you use the Noni Glow face oil to just put the nutrients back into your skin. I use morning and night and it gives your skin that beautiful natural glow. You see the glowing, beautiful skin. So this is a really uplifting part of my day where I'm sloughing off dead skin cells on my face. I'm feeling energized and invigorated. The fifth step in my routine is a cold pressed celery juice. So now I'm gonna make a fresh celery juice. So we get um, celery, fresh celery from the organic farmer's market. And it's alkalizing, it's full of electrolytes. So now I'm gonna just pour it in there. I drink 32 ounces. I wouldn't be without it. It's great for energy levels. It's been great for my skin. It's super like hydrating. I mean, my whole family is now drinking celery juice every morning. At first, my husband was a little skeptical, but he now drinks it every morning. So now we all drink it as a family.
All right, so I've done my first five and now I'm going to show you my last five. So I have very busy days. I'm a mother of three boys. So my nine month old is still breastfeeding. So I breastfeed him four or five times a day. Actually, it's almost time. In 10 minutes, I'm supposed to breastfeed. <laughs> and so between breastfeeding, putting the kids down for their naps, there's a lot that goes into my day because two of my children are under two. I get them to bed by 6.30 p.m., which is really great. I start their wind down routine at about 4.45 and then sleep at 6.30. So then after the kids go to bed, then I get to do my little routine. So I just got the kids to bed. Evan's doing his workout. So I'm going to do a little Ballet Beautiful online and then take a bath. At 6.45, I have every day an appointment set with Mary Helen who does like ba Ballet Beautiful. She's also a mum. She has three girls. Her children are asleep. My children are asleep. I can have that time to work out without feeling guilty. It's a good time for me to take for myself and get my, you know, booty back in shape. <laughs> I love to take a bath. I love to light the candle and light a little Palo Santo. Sometimes what I like to do is put like a pound of sea salt and a pound of baking soda. I love to put a few drops of lavender oil in the bath um, or sandalwood. I put a few crystals in the bath, like rose quartz crystals. I use this body wash for my whole family, myself and my kids. I listen to Snatam Kerr. Her music to me feels very nurturing and relaxing. Speaking of tea, we get fresh thyme from the farmer's market and put it in the hot water and then just boil the kettle, put the hot water in and let the thyme soak in the little teacup and just add a teaspoon of honey and then cheers. Thyme tea is very relaxing. And if I don't have the fresh thyme leaves, I will just have a lemon balm tea. Mm. I really prefer to read about health and wellness. Just finding a new recipe from my favorite book, Plant to Heal. And the way that the food we eat affects our body, the way that our thoughts affect our body and our mind. Um, so right now I'm reading Cleanse to Heal by Anthony William. I just think it's a really um, interesting book. So I'm enjoying that right now. I keep the Noni Glow sleeping mask next to my bed and I put it on every night as the last step in my routine. So it doesn't go onto your pillow. It locks in the hyaluronic acid into your skin. At night, your skin is restoring and like, rebuilding. For me, like, this is my lifesaver and it's really, really helped my skin. As I've said, I'm 37 and my skin has honestly never looked better and I'm religious with my routine. Um, that's something that I will always make time for. Put it on and this does the magic for you while you're sleeping. Night night. Every night I put my phone on airplane mode. And to turn my phone on airplane mode. It's a really great way to just disconnect. I have an international business and sometimes it's hard for me to not be responding because my business is almost like my fourth child. It's like my little girl. And so sometimes it's hard to disconnect, but putting my phone on airplane mode makes sure that if I wake up in the middle of the night to use the bathroom that I will not check my phone for emails. And that's it. Thank you so much for learning about my first five and last five.